Hi, hot mic. So uh, my presentation is culinary conundrum millennials. Are they really a culinary conundrum? Well, Porch.com did a recent survey with 750 people uh, and a mix of Gen Xers, baby boomers, etc. And most of them were un clueless on cooking and culinary. Who am I? I'm Krista Heineke. There's my little face. Former athlete, athlete restaurant owner. Um, and I really believe that cooking is the essence of our family life and, and I can't speak. <laughs> is it true? Okay, sorry. 40% of millennials can't even recognize a butter knife. So in that study by Porch.com, 40% of millennials didn't recognize a butter knife. Now, they can you know, Snapchat better than we do and apply filters and all that fun stuff, but they are not cooking. So this, in the survey, it's worth noting that the baby boomers did have some advantages. They had the time. They had home ed classes. They had grandparents living at home teaching. So I think it's really important that we do this. What happened? Sexual revolution, women went back to work, uh, allergies, um, fewer kids had time to really embrace what was going on because their moms or fathers were gone and weren't cooking. There was no one home to teach them how to cook. So when it comes to eating and or cooking, what are the millennials actually doing? Well, they're eating out, they're ordering, none, none, none that I know of, but apparently Blue Apron, uh, and delivery services, which is great because they're at least learning some tools on, on cooking. Let's face it, going out's easy, it's a lot of fun, but it becomes expensive, and the millennials need to sort of bring it in and learn a little bit more about the basics. Going to Sugars is great. What happens when the money runs out? A lot. <laughs> so my son's vegan. He uh, is in college, and he's trying to learn to cook himself. We try to you know, give him some tools, a rice cooker, different legumes, beans, et cetera, et cetera. But he's noticed, too, that a lot of his friends are not cooking. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of different t types of cultures and things going on, and the kids aren't actually taking it into their homes. Uh, so there's nothing more powerful than knowing how to wield a Santuco knife or knowing the difference between a saute pan or a fry pan, and unless you're the, being a mother of dragons, which is very empowering. Technology. So Google researched that p the young people are using their smartphones to do every single piece of cooking, whether it's Pinterest, fails, or successes. They're learning at least something. They're getting ex excited and creative by their phones. So what ha um, Nestle Toll House Cookies, we're noticing that their core set of bakers were growing and sort of dying off. What they did was they decided that they were going to use YouTube videos to help encourage and empower teenagers, millennials to, te to cook. This was interesting. So the New York Post did a study. The most searched recipe was how to cook a baked potato. Now, you know, this is something to do by memory. It's not that hard, but apparently no one knows how to do that. So I have a favorite recipe that I really enjoy by Julia Child. Some of you may or may not know who that is, uh, and my favorite book. But it's funny, when you Google the same recipe on the Internet, it's different every single time you look at it. So it's really important to use the book, even though kids nowadays like to use their smartphones and tablets. What's next? Learn to grow something. Dan Barber came out with these great lines of seeds called Row 7. They're bred for flavor. Uh, I'm attempting to do this at home. It's not that hard, but it's not that easy either. I planted, you know, eight eggplants last year and got one. Uh, but that's okay. Get out there and try something new, especially millennials. Just plant that seed. There's a little, you know, just do it. Uh, while baking is a truly, a truly a science, cooking is not. You can sort of make mistakes all the time. Take a class. Uh, Gold Star Pies in town has wonderful pie classes. There's my daughter doing a class with me. Uh, whether she liked it or not, she's coming up the screen. Uh, but Gold Star Pie is a great food truck. She's engaging. She has classes twice a month. She also has a pie of the month club. Who are local flu food influencers? We've got Max at the Penrose Room. He's under 30. We have Supanza, who's great. She's also young. And of course, of course Brother Luck. And then we have Katie Donsilovic, who's over at Ivy Wild. All fun people to sort of learn and be inspired from. So Jamie Stafford said, you know, learning to cook with friends through social media is, is what we're all about. And I encourage you to keep it going. Take the step. Don't be the generation of reheaters, which I heard today from a 5280 food editor. She's like, we're a generation of reheaters. Well, that's not cooking. So let's change the statistics. statistics, statistics. Only 5% of 20 to 30 somethings are considered themselves good home cooks. Get cooking. Get out there and do it. Thank you so much for this evening. And millennials will no longer be a culinary conundrum. And this last slide is just because I liked it. Uh, single, a man who jokes about a woman in the kitchen. That's what it means. Thank you so much.